make sure to check out my Patreon for exclusive videos never before seen on YouTube. And don't forget to also check out the memberships on my channel page to join and gain access to perks and see videos early. Make sure to click the subscribe button and hit the bell and be notified of new videos. All the support goes to the production of the channel for better content. Now let's get into the video. Real quick shout out to all the members that are there on the screen. Go check them out. Go give them a like, subscribe, you know, show them some love and support. Also, if this video gets over 250 likes, I shall continue the series. Thank you all for the support. Let's hit 20,000 subscribers and I will talk to you all later. The series last ended with the likes of Goku and Vegeta now training under Beerus. Now this is the same effects as the resurrection of F Saga where Frieza did revive himself and of course, Frieza was going to get his revenge. Now, Frieza, I think, would train the exact same as before because he knows that, oh, he's not one more powerful. Three months is all I need. Frieza would show up to Earth, but this is where some things are going to change. Maybe even the likes of Goten and Trunks would be there to help, as Goten is obviously, they could even do fusion as well. And fight, they're a lot more powerful than the original because their fathers are stronger as well. Now, we could also look at the other factor of is that Gohan is a lot more powerful than he originally was. Gohan here, in terms of power, he still keeps on training as we know Gohan's potential. He can continue training lightly, but to keep himself rusty and also get himself a little bit stronger. Gohan takes training pretty serious, so he balances it out with Videl and his life and focusing on a job. But of course, he also does work on it as well to keep himself strong enough to protect his loved ones. So Gohan here is not rusty at all. So the likes of Tagoma and Shushumi, they have no chance. Now, of course, they have no chance against Gohan as he would not even need Super Saiyan to beat them. Potentially even his base form could probably take them on. Now, this is when Frieza would show up and they would have defeated all of his men at this point. Frieza would then be the one to join in the fight. He would fight Gohan, and Gohan would then use his mystic power. Gohan here would actually push Frieza to use his final form. And Gohan's power is continuing to rise as Gohan is still not using his full strength. This would force Frieza to have to use his golden form, which infuriates him because he wanted to save it for Son Goku and Vegeta. Now, because of this, him and Gohan would have their battle. Frieza would probably have the slight upper hand in terms of power, but Gohan has been preparing for this moment as he knows about, you know, there's a new bad guy that by the time that Goku and Vegeta show up, of course, they would not interfere because Gohan is handling it, which actually makes Goku very proud because he knows that one day he might not be around. And of course, he wishes he could fight Frieza again. He got in his new form. He's really strong, same with Vegeta. But a Saiyan does not interrupt their battle, truly. A Saiyan fights solo. Well, unless you're Goku and Vegeta, they did that back and forth. But they let Gohan continue to fight as Frieza started to lose his power. Frieza never trained long enough in this form, so his stamina is faltering. Now, this is when Gohan will put the beat down on Frieza and overpower him. Now, Goku can sense something shifting in Frieza as he can feel the planet start to shift. And in that one moment, Goku would transform and appear right in front of Frieza and grab him. As Goku would have then absorbed all of Frieza's power and kill him. Now Frieza did try to blow up the planet, but Goku can sense that the Earth's planet power was shifting. As remember, Goku with Moro's power, he can sense energy far more greater than anybody else. And he can feel the energy, so he knew that what Frieza was going to do the split second. Now, Gohan was beyond exhausted. This was one of the strongest battles of his entire life. He looked like the scene from when they fought Broly. You know, he was destroyed. But he was happy that he was able to make his father proud and protect his friends. As this is why he needs to continue training, because someone like Frieza could always come back again and kill everybody. Now, of course... Goku would be very proud of his son, and of course, they kind of waste their time, but Beerus would then show up shortly afterwards, and he wanted some ice cream. So, this would actually give Goku a little bit of time to spend time with Chi-Chi and them, 
and maybe spend a couple days there as Beerus was busy eating up everything, having the best time of his life. But then they would all go back and train. Now this is when the likes of Champa would appear and he would still challenge Beerus to of course have the Universe 6 and Universe 7 tournament. The only difference here is that when Champa fires a massive attack, remember it almost hit Goku and Vegeta, Goku would have actually caught the attack and redirected it right back to Champa. Now Champa was surprised at who did this and it would actually be Son Goku. As Vados even explains that, that saying is different from the other one. Now, of course, Champa would just think that, oh, the Saiyan got really lucky or, you know, maybe I was just lazy, you know, maybe I'm getting too fat. So he lets it go. The Universe 6 and the Universe 7 tournament happens the exact same. So if in terms of who fights who, Goku, I feel like would have still gotten poisoned potentially and would have gotten knocked out. But of course they noticed that it was of course a fake because Frost was of course cheating. Vegeta would still fight Hit first. He would have still fought Kaba and, and, and Megeta. That happens the same. Piccolo would have had his time to shine a little bit. Piccolo is stronger than the original, but I still think that Frost still surpassed him. But still, Piccolo could still hold his own. Now going into Goku versus Hit. As Vegeta would probably tank a little bit more attacks, but he, he would lose either way. Now Goku fighting Hit, Goku needs to learn Hit's ability, and he started to figure it out. Now, Goku going into his god form, he would easily overpower Hit in their battle with little effort. As Goku here, in terms of power, has far surpassed the likes of a Tournament of Power, the Moro arc, the Granola arc. He's stronger than Broly. This likes of Goku is stronger than some gods of destruction at this point. So there ain't no chance that he's being beaten by Hit. Hit can maybe hold his own for a second because of his ability, but his ability can only go so fast. So Goku would knock out Hit and be declared the winner. Now, of course, this is when the Omni King would appear. Goku would still befriend him, and they would still become best friends. And Goku wants to do this again sometime. Everybody would go home, and now this is the likes of the Trunks Saga. Now, this would be a little bit different here, as Trunks' timeline and the timeline that Zamasu, it's very janky and very horrible how they wrote it, it's still a different timeline. So since this is a what if timeline, it will be theoretically different from Trunks' timeline and the Goku Black timeline. So Goku Black would just be the normal Goku that we know. And even if it was the current Goku here, Goku would have been able to defeat him because Goku Black has no idea that he has that magical abilities. That would just be dormant within him. As it took Goku his entire, you know, it took Goku years of his life to be able to learn that, Goku Black wouldn't be even be able to. So either way that you look at it, it would either end really quickly because you have the likes of Vegeta and Goku could have absorbed or killed Goku Black. Same with Zamasu, even though Zamasu is immortal, Goku could have theoretically killed him, and here's why. Because Goku can use the Hakai ability. How is that possible? Well, it's because Goku absorbed Beerus' Hakai power back when he fought as a Super Saiyan God. He just could never know how to use it. But after getting so much more powerful and practicing with it, Goku can now use a Hakai ability. Not to the massive extent that some gods of destruction can use that to maybe buff their power, etc. But he, he is able to shoot Hakai balls and he's able to basically use the Hakai ability to one tap beings and destroy them. Now, of course, he doesn't like doing that. That's not his thing, but it's a backup. So he would definitely use that against the likes of Immortal Zamasu and completely kill him. Now, you could argue that he could become the Universal Zamasu, potentially, but either way, Goku has the Zeno button, so it doesn't matter either way. So either way, Goku Black or Zamasu in either what if scenarios are going to lose, whether it's Goku easily beating them or... Oh, Goku beating them, or maybe him and Go Vegeta can do fusion for the first time, buffing up their power even more, which that would be insanity power. But either way, sadly, they cannot defeat them. So Trunks' timeline would have either been saved or he would have went to a copy timeline and Trunks was happy. Now, of course, going back, this is when we're gonna start getting into the tournament of power. Now, jumping into the tournament of power, this is where a lot of things are going to change. The first bout is especially when Goku meets Jiren for the first time. And they have their first battle, as 
most of the other gods of destruction, they know of Goku's terrifying power because Belmont and them and the other people, they saw how, e how easily Goku defeated Topo in the exhibition match. That Topo even had no chance against Goku. So, when he would go to fight Jiren, the fight would be very different. Goku would go into his mutated Super Saiyan power, and he would make Jiren fight him pretty decently. But this is when Goku jumps into his god power and uses his full power. This is when Jiren will need to start using his full power to even keep up with Goku. Now, even though Jiren doesn't really have much of a chance here, as Goku is far stronger than even the likes of Broly, and even the likes of Moro, and even Granola, which is far surpassing Jiren and Broly. So Jiren, it would either be knocked out and defeated, or Jiren would probably use his limit breaking power. Now Goku would see an opportunity here as he would, and just on instinct while fighting Jiren, as he's losing power quickly, he would absorb Jiren's limit breaking energy, making himself even more exponentially powerful. As he didn't kill Jiren, Jiren just had very little key left as he could barely stand up. And the red energy would surround Goku, but then it would turn back into his normal key color. But it was incredible power. Such raw heat and rage. But, you know, Jiren was shocked that Goku had this magical ability to be able to do that. And Goku would knock Jiren off and Jiren would accept his defeat. Now, Vegeta, I think, would still fight God Destruction Topo the same way, and he would unlock the Blue Evolution form already, and he would have fought Topo and would have beaten him. Now, with the other beings, Goku would have been able to hold his own just fine. None of that would have really changed. Goku's just so powerful that he can be pretty much beat any being in the Terminal Power. The only person that was even close to being a little bit fun was Jiren. But other than that, nobody else to really touch him. Not even Kefla, not even God Destruction Topo, Dispo, Hit, nothing. Now, once when we cut into the Broly arc, this is where some changes are going to be happening once more. Now, once when Broly shows up and he fights Vegeta first, going into his Akari form, this is when Goku has his turn to fight Broly, which he's excited about. Goku would be fighting Broly, and Goku would easily overpower Broly in their bout. Now, Frieza, I feel like what Nagoku wants to carry out fights. This is a bad habit of his, as he wants to see how strong can Broly get. Can Broly make things fun? Because Broly's not evil. He's just, you know, angry. Frieza, I think, would still do a little cheap shot, and he would have probably still killed him. Now, by the way, Frieza would still be brought back just because they need an extra member. It's just Goku. And even if so, Frieza would have still been given the gift by Beerus, which I think was stupid to be brought back to life. Either way, Frieza would have shot him and Broly would see his father dead and he would turn Super Saiyan. As the fight would continue, Goku would go into his god form and this would be a fun fight. As Broly would go let full power Super Saiyan and be in his legendary form, Goku would even remark that wow, his raw strength is even greater than that of Jiren's. But of course, Goku is far stronger than Jiren, far stronger than Broly. It's not even a joke here. So. Goku would then knock out Broly as he doesn't want to kill him, and Broly would then be left there. As for Frieza, now Goku, would he let Frieza go? Gogeta did, theoretically. Uh, it's up for debate because you have Vegeta. Vegeta would have recovered at this point, and he would have shown up to fought Frieza. Goku would have tried to stop him, but Vegeta said, you are not to interfere with this battle, Kakarot, or I'll destroy you myself. Of course, not going to work. So Vegeta would have his, uh, finally, have his actual fight against Frieza. Frieza would use his golden form, and Vegeta would go Blue Evolution this time, which I don't know why he didn't go Blue Evolution in the Eternal Power. Go Blue Evolution, and he would fight Frieza, defeating him. And now this time, he's not gonna let Frieza go this time. He would completely obliterate Frieza. This gives Vegeta his actual win against Frieza and his time to shine as Goku defeated that that brute of a Saiyan, fine, but Vegeta had his time to shine to defeat him, and he's happy. Now, Chi Lai and Lemo, would they go back to Broly's planet? Probably not. They would stay on Earth because there's no point. They went there just to, you know, forcefully go there. So they would stay on Earth, and Broly would wake up and be calmed down. Goku would befriend him, as, you know, he was nice, and he would help Broly learn to control his power. Now, the arc that I think we're all been waiting on is of course Moro. 
Now, when Goku meets Moro, Moro has will be shocked that Goku has the same exact abilities as him, as that's impossible. Goku would be surprised the same way. That's impossible. There's no way that he has other, you know, things as well. Now, Moro would would potentially uses his advantage because he knows more about his abilities than Goku does because Goku's far superior to Moro. Now with Moro trying to absorb Goku's energy, with Goku having the same magical power, he could theoretically redirect that attack and not have it take effect on him because it's Moro's energy, but Goku's using his own magic against Moro's. So it'll be a battle of who knows the magic more. But sadly, Moro wouldn't really have much of a chance because even if he tries to take some energy from Goku slowly, Goku is so powerful that he can just bump into his god form and use his magic on Moro and just instantly boom and Moro will be obliterated because Goku can use the Hakai ability or Goku is so powerful that even a simple Kamehameha wave behind Moro's back where he can punch through him and completely obliterate him. Cutting into the Granola arc. It is true that if Granola wishes to become the most powerful mortal, it would surpass Goku. But from what we know, even Granola, when he made that wish, he only had three years left and Gas growing more powerful, he died within very shortly. So if Granola made the wish, he would have theoretically had maybe a couple of minutes before he would have died. And if Gas would have made the wish but let's just say that granola lives long enough to fight goku and vegeta but he starts looking like gas and if gas makes the wish oh my goodness he's not gonna survive he's basically gonna die he would only have maybe a couple seconds then he would be reduced to dust because then goku would have used his god power which is far stronger than black frieza at this point and he would have easily killed them so goku at this point in time with his power with the frieza potential is a lot more powerful than black frieza now the, likes of the, now, the likes of Cell Max and everything else, that would happen the same. Gohan would still unlock the Beast form. All that would happen the same. So everything would be pretty much be kind of running smoothly until we get the next arc. But anyway, thank y'all so much for the series. I really appreciate it, so stay tuned for the movie. Thank y'all for the support, and I'll talk to you all later.